9 p.m. in Art this time to English New Edition for tonight's uh, headlines you have. The head of state participate in the investiture ceremony of the re-elected President Kagame. Welcome to our newsroom. The, pres the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, arrived in the, in the country this Sunday morning, bound for the Rwandan capital, Kigali, where alongside some 20 health state uh, and uh, government, uh, he, will, he take part uh, later today in the in, in ceremony of his re-elected counterpart from his uh, from this uh, brotherly and friendly country, Mr. Paul Kagame, President Kagame's investiture ceremony will take place uh, in estimated capacity of uh, 50,000 in view of the additional embellishment measures added to the Rwandan capitals and the new arrangement uh, made to raise the country's uh, profile. This, there is uh, every reason to believe that Rwanda is taking full advantage of its president inauguration ceremony to work towards a uh, greater international acceptance of its uh, flagship uh, assets and strategic development uh, choice. As a model of political stability, Rwanda is held in high esteem uh, for its established uh, prep propensity uh, to derive economic growth from rigorous management of its uh, resources and potential. It also owes uh, its laudable reputation to its uh, deep uh, attachment to the principle of uh, har harnessing uh, the work of its development through the greater ingenuity and creativity of its human heritage. In addition to attending the investiture ceremony of this Rwandan, uh, his Rwandan counterpart, the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gele, will, as usual, take advantage of uh, his trip to Kigali to hold talks with the main political leaders of uh, these friendly countries, including Paul Kagame, a large delegation, is including the ambassador of uh, the Republic of Djibouti to the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, who is also the ambassador of the Republic of Djibouti to the Republic of Rwanda and our country's permanent representative to the African Union, His Excellency Abdi Mahmoud Abe, is accompanying the head of state uh, on this uh, trip to Kigali. The Republic of Djibouti strongly condemned the murderous attack by Israeli forces on an army the civilian who had taken refuge in a school in eastern Gaza City. This massacre adds to the long list of crimes committed by the occupying forces and the genocide perpetrated against the Gaza Strip in absolute silence on the part of the international community. The Republic of Djibouti therefore demands an urgent international fact finding missions into the systematic uh, targeting of civilians, schools and centers, uh, sheltering displaced persons by the occupying forces. The Republic of Djibouti calls on the international community to assume its uh, responsibility, in particular the Security Council to immediately halt Israel's violent aggressions against Gaza, put an end to the blatant attacks by its occupying forces as well as the constant and systematic viol violations of uh, international law and uh, hold uh, those responsible to account. Finally, the Republic of Djibouti reiterates its uh, firm position in favor of the Palestinian cause and the legitimate rights of the brotherly uh, Palestinian people first and foremost, uh, their rights uh, to establish their own independent and sovereign state uh, within the borders of June 4, 1967, uh, with the East Jerusalem as its capital. The international condemnation is after deadly Israeli strikes in Gaza. The Israeli army said on Saturday that it eliminated at least uh, 19 civilians and Islamic uh, jihadist terrorists in a raid on Gaza school housing displaced persons, which left 93 Palestinians dead. According to the territory's uh, civil defense, the attack provoked by international uh, 
outcry after the most of the devastating war in the Palestinian territory following an intelligence investigation it can be confirmed that at least 19 Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorists were eliminated the army said in a statement in which it published the names and photos it presented as those of the slave fighters the terrorists were operating with the aim of uh, carrying out uh, attacks against Israeli soldiers uh, from inside the school compound. It added uh, international condemnation Gaza's uh, civil defense announced on Saturday that 93 Palestinians, including children, has died uh, in the strikes on a school housing displaced persons. International condemnation of the deadly strikes multiplied. Last night at around 6 p.m., torrential rain fell on the capital, heralding the change of seasons under a sky laden uh, with the threatening cloud lightning uh, ripped through the darkness uh, while thunder rumbled uh, with a rare intensity at, as uh, if to underline the force of this uh, meteorological event. Uh, in a matter of uh, moments, uh, bustling streets were transformed into the rivers uh, with water invading neighborhoods and submerging roads. Uh, extremists uh, swollen by incessant uh, downpour overflow with their banks, uh, forcing residents to exercise the utmost uh, the utmost uh, caution images captured by residents reveal the extent of the downpour we, with the vehicles uh, half submerged and traffic uh, at a uh, stand these uh, uh, precautionary measures uh, and the population is to restrict travelers and despite this uh, situation the evolution of weather conditions uh, the rainfall uh, well felt numerous localities in the Tajorra Ali Sabih and As Sagalu, however, the Dakhil regions and the nature show it to might uh, the most in As Ila rainfall reached uh, 30 mm, Yobuki received 24 mm, Bondara 46 mm, and Gurabus uh, 40 mm, illustrating the diversity and intensity of these phenomena in this area. These weather episodes are reminders of the need for caution during seasonal transitions when conditions can change rapidly. Last night, Djibouti was hit by torrential rains of exceptional intensity, turning the capital street into the veritable rivals in the space of a few hours. According to official record, the Djibouti aerodrome station is recorded 16 millimeter of rainfall, a significant amount for the region is faced with this emergency situation. The various uh, national forces reacted immediately. The offices uh, of the, the national offices of Waders and of Djibouti rapidly dis uh, deployed its teams on the grounds working tirelessly around the clock to clear the streets of Waders and restore normal traffic flow while the protection of uh, the civil uh, the civil protectionists the national police the various uh, Djibouti forces also took part the step to uh, to secure the affected areas and help manage the crisis thanks to this uh, decisive intervention is the series uh, main arteries uh, notably the Engela FMP Salin West and Plus Rambo which were uh, totally flooded uh, this uh, morning are gradually being uh, cleared uh, with teams implementing in rigorous uh, action plan using pumps and other specialized uh, equipment to dry out the worst affected area. Last night, uh, the torrential rains fell heavily in Djibouti city for two hours. Rain fell in very large quantities. Uh, the downpour were brutal, accompanied by violent and thunderstorms uh, and thunder claps. Causing intermittent showers, uh, the torrential rains has lashed the capitals, causing some overflow in residential areas of Djibouti. The rains also brought down the high summer temperatures. The sub-prefectures of the 5th and 3rd district began evacuating rainwaters and victims under the leadership of the 5th district sub-prefect Awali Shide Farah, the sub-prefect officials, uh, undertook a concerted effort to evacuate stagnant waters. Uh, these uh, operations were uh, were carried out uh, in certain districts of the um, commune of Balbala. The third uh, district uh, subprefecture also set up the teams to pump out waters in uh, certain districts of the third uh, three uh, district. Uh, the subprefecture uh, Haibe Hared uh, Gadid, uh, the subprefect of the third uh, district, gave us more details. 
after two days of uh, debate and exchanges and reflections, uh, the first uh, national youth forum on climate justice closed today at the Sheraton Hotel under the chairmanship of the Secretary General of the Ministry of Environment and Sustainable Development, Dina Abdullah Omar. The aim of the forum was to strengthen the skills of young people as actors in the promotions of uh, climate justice in Djibouti by equipping them with the knowledge and skills they need to act as a key player in the fight against climate change. The forum also enabled the establishment of a dynamic network of young people from the commune and regions of the interior who are involved in initiatives to promote climate justice. The aim was to encourage the exchanges of expertise, collaboration and the implementations of uh, concrete actions in favor of climate justice after two days of debate and consultation between experts and young participants. This first National Youth Forum on Climate Justice produced a joint youth uh, declaration on climate justice. Uh, after the allocation, the president of the movement, one and indivisible of Djibouti, Mr. Ahmed Mugula, transmitted on hand the common declaration is adopted by the young uh, peoples in this forum to the General Secretary of the Ministry of uh, Environment, uh, Dina Abdullah Omar, in view to put uh, in action these uh, common declarations of the young people. I'm super, super excited. And like I did mention at the very beginning, at Pan-African Climate Justice Alliance, we are really, really focused on young people. And we are very excited that we are here to even strengthen our movement. That is a Pacta movement. And the fact that you people have now been exposed to a lot of um, information about climate justice, and I'm sure you are now different from when you came in, we work with you. And I want to communicate that message. We, work, we want to work, work with you. You are now part and parcel of this big alliance in Africa that is calling for climate justice for the African people. Before the start of the official speeches to close the first climate justice forum, Madam Anissa Mohamed Abdi, a young activist and a spokesperson for the hundreds or so young people who gathered at the forum, took the floor to read out the joint declarations adopted at the climate justice forum to the experts and political decision makers. In his speech, the president of the movement, uh, Youth and One and Indivisible, Mr. Ahmed Mugula, welcomed the adoptions of the joint youth declaration on climate justice action. The forum also enabled the establishment of a dynamic network of young people from the commune and regions of the interior who are involved in initiatives to uh, promote climate justice. The Secretary General of the Ministry of uh, Environment and Sustainable Development, Dean Abdullah Omar, said that this forum was uh, the beginning of a youth uh, movement that refuses to accept the climate just injustice. Uh, the aim of this uh, forum was to strengthen the skills of young people as an actor in the promotions of climate justice in Djibouti by equipping them with the knowledge and the skills they need to act as a key player in the fight against climate change. The forum also enabled the establishment of a dynamic network of young people from the commune and regions of the interior who are involved in initiatives to promote climate justice. The aim was to encourage the exchanges of expertise and collaboration and the implementation of the concrete actions uh, in favor of climate justice. The activity commemorating International Youth Day continuing in Ali Sabir tomorrow, August 12. The day will be celebrated with the great pump and, cer and ceremony in the regional capital. But today, as part of the program, several training workshops were held for one for young people. These workshops, of which uh, there uh, were Eight, enable these young people to become aware of and conform to certain values and ethics. Uh, the theme of the workshop were youth resilience and climate change, the danger of social networking, the long-term effect of drugs, passing on safeguarding, legacy, social inclusion of uh, young people with disability, to name but a few. The day is an opportunity to recognize uh, young people's essential and contributions to society and highlight the challenges they face as the event uh, coincides with the summer activities. It will also provide an opportunity for exchange between young people from all over the regions, north and south, 
in the form of a forum and discussions workshop on the important issues such as employment, digital technology, sustainable development, environmental protection, heritage preservation, and civic actions. Abdinur Shakib Yusuf, the prefect of the second district, chaired a meeting this morning for the Al-Hiba Bas and Minibas Union. The purpose of the meeting was to listen to the union's grievances in order to take the necessary measures to improve standards and protect passengers and the environment. The meeting was attended by members of the prefecture, the union's president, and the police officers. In his speech, uh, the sub-prefect of the second district uh, explained that uh, the aim of uh, the meeting was uh, not only to resolve the problem, but also to take the necessary and appropriate measures. Uh, this measure uh, consists of uh, ensuring compliance with the rules and the standards, but also for the protections of passengers living for the south of the country. He asked the unions to keep uh, an E on the surrounding area to protect the environment. The Djibouti Swimming Federation proudly welcomes its uh, two champions, Ahmed Hussein Barkat and Ni'ma Zahra Amisom, this Wednesday, August 7, uh, 2024, at Djibouti International Airport as, as they step off uh, the plane at 11 a.m. Family members and Federation's officials were on hand to greet them and celebrate their Olympic feats. Ahmed Hussein Barkat and Ni'ma Zahra, having shown in their respective events, have captured uh, international attention and inspired many young people, many young Jewishian athletes. Uh, their return is not only a celebration of their achievement, but also an encouragement for the future of sport in our country. Their determination and success are sources of uh, motivation for a whole generation of aspiring swimmers. Uh, the Federation had also a scheduled press interview where uh, Hamad and uh, Ni'ma Zahra shared their experience and the Olympic uh, Games uh, competitions included, including the Los Angeles 2028 Olympic Games, their presence at success, how that uh, through commitment and perseverance Djibouti can rise among the leading sporting nations. In summary, the welcomes of Hussein, Ahmed, Hussein Barkat and Ni'ma Zahra Amison at the Djibouti International Airport was marked by a celebration that testifies to national pride and the hope of a bright sporting future for our country. For his part, the president of the Djibouti Swimming Federation, Abdullah Mohamed Dini, said that their determination, determination and success are sources of uh, motivation for a whole generation of aspiring swimmers. The federation had also scheduled press interviews where Hamad and Ni'ma Zahra shared their experience uh, of the Olympic Games and their plans for future competitions, including the Los Angeles 2028 Olympic Games. The Djibouti Swimming Federation is mobilizing in its mission to introduce summer visitors to swimming on the beaches of the capital and coastal towns under the species of the State Secretariat for Sports, the Swimming for All, the Swimming for Life campaign got underway on Friday, August 9, at the beach of Iran to the delight of around 100 swimmers on site. The FDN technicians recognizable by their orange vests led several workshops to initiate the youngest children and uneducated adults equipped with the wooden boards and inflatable balls, uh, the latter learned to jump into the waters without fear and to come to the aid of others in difficulties. 
for the DTN, Mr. Dabale, the aim was to train the public to use their bodies, move their hands and feet to float on the water and move towards uh, the shore. Fundamental gestures likely to put an end to the uh, prophobia of the sea which uh, haunt uh, far m so many Jewish families uh, during the uh, summer due to the frequent uh, cases of uh, drowning. Nin. The second part consisted in spending pleasant moments on the beach, and the more seasoned participants were treated to friendly beach sports to cod, sport co matches and swimming races, uh, making the sea a major point of attraction for Jewishians and directing them towards its uh, enormous uh, inexhaustible opportunities. Uh, these are the universal values that the FDN shares with the, its uh, parent federation, its aquatic uh, world, as usual. Kubesh establishment and uh, companies uh, provided the refreshment for the day, and the president made a point on thanking this institution for its uh, constant support for the development of sport in Djibouti. All the similar sessions are scheduled for Friday in August. For his part, the president of the Djibouti Swimming uh, Federation, Mr. Abdallah Mohamed Dini, has indicated the aims was to train the public to use their bodies, move their hands and feet the float on the waters and move uh, towards the shore. Fundamental uh, gestures likely to put an end to the phobia of the sea and which haunt uh, farmers to many Jewish families uh, during the summer due to the frequent case of drowning. The second part consisted in spending pleasant moment on the beach the moment the more seasoned participants were treated to friendly beach sport co matches and swimming races and for the international scene uh, united kingdom's mobilization against uh, the rise of the far right uh, in the uk a wave of demonstrations has intensified in response to the roaring rise uh, of the far right across the countries, rallies uh, are multiplying uh, to counter these uh, worrying trends and express opposition to xenophobia, violence. This weekend, thousands of people mobilizing in various cities and to denounce uh, racist uh, attacks and support refugees. Uh, the Stand Up uh, to Racism mov movement uh, played uh, a key role organizing up to 22 demonstrations across the UK. This took place in the major cities such as London, Manchester, Birmingham, Belfast, where peaceful demonstrations were organized to underline the importance of uh, solidarity and support for victims and racist uh, violence in response to the recent riots and escalating tensions. Uh, police uh, ma made almost uh, 800 ar arrests uh, in connection with the unrest. The riots uh, were uh, fixed uh, by rhymers and growing uh, tensions around immigra immigration, particularly after a deadly attack on children's intensified anti-immigrant sentiment. And this is it for the news. Thanks for watching us. Have a good uh, evening.